Now let's see how this whole thing works in practice by using an example. We're going to consider a program that takes as input a text file and produces a, as output a filtered file. So basically, it outputs a subset of the content of this text file based on some filter. And we're going to have four different types of filters. So the first one is no filtering, which means that the whole content of the text file will be produced on the output. The second filter will output only words that start with T. So it will take the text file and simply ignore all of the words that do not start with T. So in the output, we will have only those words that start with the letter T. The third filter will produce in the output only words that are longer than five characters. So all the other words will be simply disregarded. And finally, the fourth filter will produce as output only words in the text file that are palindromes. And in case you don't know what a palindrome is, a palindrome is a word that is the same whether you read it from left to right or from right to left. For example, the word kayak. You can read it in this direction or in this direction, and it's exactly the same word. So now let's see how this program could be implemented using a strategy pattern. And let's do it for real as a demo. What we're looking at here is the editor page for Eclipse uh, open with the strategy pattern implementation for our example. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to look at the different parts of the implementation. And you will see that, you know, despite the fact that it's slightly long, it's really fairly simple. It's kind of a straightforward implementation of what we just saw. As I just said, what we're doing is basically building these strategy patterns that allows for changing the strategies with which we're filtering an input file. And we have different uh, strategies. We'll look at those uh, in, uh, in detail. And we said that the three participants for this pattern are the context, the algorithm, which is the general interface, and then the concrete strategies, which are the concrete implementations of this algorithm. So let's start by looking at the context, which is this class here. And as you can see, it contains a reference at the current strategy. We call this uh, the check strategies, which is uh, basically our filter. And when the context is created, by default, it sets the strategy to the old strategy. The old strategy is the one that accepts all the input. So basically, it doesn't filter out anything. And we said that the context is the interface to the outside world, right? So it has to provide the outside world with a way of selecting the strategy, the specific algorithm to be used. And it does that, in this case, uh, by providing this change strategy method. This method takes a strategy as input and simply replaces the current strategy with the one specified as a parameter. And at this point, uh, the context also will perform the filtering. The filtering is pretty straightforward. So what it does uh, is uh, that it opens a file that is passed as a parameter. So that this is the file, the input file to be filtered. And then it reads the file line by line and then split the lines into its composing words. And then for each word in each line, what it will do, it will basically invoke the check method in the current strategy, which is basically the filtering method. And if the check method returns a true, which basically means that the word should be printed, it prints the word. Otherwise, it'll just skip it. So basically, the filter will return false for all the words that have to be filtered out. Okay, so this is the basic way in which the context works. Let's see how this is used in our main method. The main method simply creates the context, reads the input file from the arguments, and then what it does is simply as a demonstration, it will perform the filtering using all the different filters. So starting from the default one, which is the one that basically doesn't do any filtering, that reports all words. Then it will switch to the algorithm that only considers the words that start with T, and it will do that by by invoking change strategy and passing this strategy as the argument, and then performing the actual filtering through context. And it will do exactly the same for the strategy that only prints words that are longer than five, and the one that only prints words that are palindromes. So now let's look at the actual algorithm. This is the interface, the algorithm interface. And you can see that the only thing that the interface provides is this method, which is the check method that takes a string as input and will return a Boolean. So basically, it's the Boolean that we were saying before, the one that is true for the words that have to be printed and false for the ones that have to be filtered out. Now we have all the different implementations of the algorithm. The simplest one is the all algorithm that simply returns always true. So all the words will be printed. The second one is the start with T. And again, without looking at the details of the implementations that don't really matter, what it does is basically checking that the first character is T and returns true in that case and false otherwise. Similarly, for the longer than five algorithm, also in this case, this will implement the check strategy interface and the check will be performed by checking that the word is longer than five characters and returning true in that case and false otherwise. And finally, the palindrome check is a little more complicated, but basically it just checks whether the word is a palindrome and returns true in that case. Okay, so as I said, it doesn't really matter too much 
much what is the specific implementation of these methods. What matters is that we have a general interface for the algorithm and then n different concrete implementations of the algorithm that implement different strategies. So again, this allows you to change the behavior of your class without changing class. So we have this context class that does different things when the filter method is invoked depending on what is the current strategy. So the behavior of the class can change dynamically and it changes dynamically every time that we change the strategy. At this point, the way this whole thing works should be clear. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to our console and we're actually going to run the strategy pattern and see what happens. So here I have a file, it's called foo.txt. And if we look at the content of foo, you can see that it says that this is just a test to assess how well this program performs when used on files of text. And since it checks for palindromes, we will also insert one such word, level. Level is a palindrome because you can read it from both sides. Okay, so let's see what happens when we run our code. So we're gonna run java pattern.strategy.strategyPattern, .strategy which is our class, and we're gonna pass foo.txt as an input. And let's go back to the beginning of the output to see what happens exactly. You can see here that for the default strategy, which was the all strategy, the whole file is printed. So every word is printed. This is just a test to assess and so on and so forth. Okay, as expected. For the filter that only prints words that start with T, only words that start with T are printed again, as expected. Similarly, for the filter that only prints words that are longer than five. And finally, for the one that prints palindromes. And here you can see that we actually have two because the way in which this is implemented will also consider single letter words as palindromes because you can read them from both sides. But you definitely will have also level in the output. And in case you want to play with this code yourself, I have made that this code and also the implementation for examples of other design patterns available as a compressed archive. And the archive is accessible through a URL that is provided in the notes for the class.